Well, we are four days away from the release of uh, the fifth Indiana Jones movie, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. It's uh, set to release on Friday, June the 30th, and I'm going to see it um, on its opening uh, day, even though <clears throat> I have, I am 98% sure that it's going to be bad. Why? <laughs> Well, I guess I have, I'm just curious, uh, the, this, this is a film that, uh, or this is a genre, this is a, this whole series of movies, uh, heavily informed my imagination in my childhood, uh, you know, second only to Star Wars, and, uh, so, you know, it was a huge part of, uh, of growing up, um, was, was Indiana Jones for me, the character of Indiana Jones, the adventures of Indiana Jones, um, <clears throat> it was a big part of my early cinematic formation. Um, I had, I had two, uh, uh, cinematic formations. One was, one came when I was around 11 or 12, uh, and it was mostly, uh, escapist popcorn, uh, affair, you know, adventure movies, science fiction movies, and that sort of thing. And then later when I was, uh, 17, 18, 19, I had a second, uh, my, my second, um, cinematic, uh, 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 um, interest, uh, or incarnation, incarnational, uh, moment where I, I, I was liking the, the, uh, you know, the harsh, disturbing kind of movies like Taxi Driver, uh, Apocalypse Now, um, and so forth. But the earlier, uh, more formative part of me, uh, it was all about, um, you know, movies like Raiders of the Lost Ark, and especially Raiders of the Lost Ark, but all of the the initial trilogy of of um, Indiana Jones movies. Now, something that I wanted to comment on today in this video is I do believe there is, uh, you know, uh, Yuri Brezhnev. I think that's how you say his name. Has a fairly famous video about uh, psychological warfare and. Of course, uh, demoralization is a big part of psychological warfare. It's a big part of how the enemy um, gets to you. Uh, it is by demoralizing you. It's by telling you uh, that uh, your your uh, that hope is foolish, that you you've lost already. Um, essentially, the black pill, <laughs> you know. I know that's controversial for some of you to hear, but but it's, it's absolutely true. So if you're a black-pilled kind of person, you may not intentionally be uh, working for the enemy, but you might as well be. Uh, that's the point. That's a, a point that I've made several times before. Now, I've seen a pattern develop recently over the last, uh, let us say, um, six or seven years, particularly. Uh, ever since this, uh, this era that we're struggling through right now, this era uh, of, uh, you know, immense, uh, this era of immense decombob decombobulation, let us call it, uh, began right around 2015, 2016, and uh, we're still in it now, deeper than ever, uh, here in 2023. Um, and around this time, we began to see our, uh, uh, this, uh, this particular type of archetype being fed to us. And, and the archetype is uh, that your hero, uh, the, the, the person that you uh, believed, you know, that, 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 that you love to watch because he's the man, you know, he's, he's, he's vital, uh, you know, he's strong. Uh, you know, he's got it going on. He, he, he's uh, he, he's got what it takes. You know, he's got the moves. Uh, you know, everything that that makes you say, "Yeah, I like this guy. I'm drawn to this guy. This guy's a hero uh, for me." Um, they took that away. They suddenly started taking that away from uh, iconic characters. Now, I'm going to list off a few. Some of them I don't care about um, particularly. But I'm I'm citing them here, uh, you know, just to uh, to register them, showing that there is this pattern 
uh, going on that I think is part of an active demoralization campaign um, against, you know, the, the uh, against the West, the, the hapless Western hoi polloi, which I, uh, you know, I guess I'm, I'm one of, since I'm not, I'm definitely not one of the elites. Um, <clears throat> not that I think of the elites as, as being elite, but that's, you know, let's just, let's just call them by that name, ironically, as, as it were. So, the first instance of this, the first instance of, oh, you know, this person, and it's, it's a man, it's always a man, um, as far as I can tell. Um, I haven't seen, an, I haven't seen an instance of this for, for a woman character yet, but, um, it's always a man, usually a white man, although in one case, not even that, as, as we will talk about, um, in a moment. Um, but the first instance of this was the movie Logan, which came out in 2017. And, uh, in that movie, the, the, uh, we see, uh, the character of Wolverine from the X, uh, X-Men. Again, I'm not a cape shit kind of guy. I've said that before. It's not my jam. Uh, but I think it's, you know, don't, uh, I, I encourage you, listener, watcher, not just to roll your eyes if you think, you know, if you're down on pop culture or if you're down on this aspect of pop culture or that aspect of pop culture. If you think it's all just uh, ephemeral and ridiculous and we shouldn't be, you know, why bother talking about it? Well, it's important to talk about even if you don't like it, even if you're not into it. It's important to see, I would argue, to see what they're trying to do to us uh, through pop culture, through, uh, through pop culture outlets. Now, you know, some, you know, in, the, in, the more, in a more uh, golden age uh, that wasn't too long ago, we mainly, the popular culture was mainly for entertainment. When I was growing up, it was that way. It wasn't really, you know, uh, what kind of lessons are, are, are we being taught? What are we, we being taught we should, you know, uh, we should be, uh, you know, what, what, what kind of a, a virtue signaling is taking place in these movies? Virtue signaling wasn't really a thing in the 80s or the 90s um, in, you know, in movies. Uh, didn't, it didn't really happen. Boy, oh boy, is it a thing now, isn't it? So it's almost ubiquitous. So in, in the movie Logan, as I can recall, cause I, I saw it, um, uh, the, 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 the man, the guy who plays Wolverine is now, it's like set in the future and he's, he's now an old man. He's broken. He's, he's, uh, uh, you know, he's given up on his dreams. Uh, he's bitter. Things have not turned out well for him. So I think he's like working as a chauffeur or in some menial, lowly job. Um, and, you know, he's, he's old and his powers aren't really functional anymore or they're, they're not really reliable anymore. And, you know, he's, I think he's a drunk, if I'm remembering right. And so all this stuff, it's like just meant to be a punch to the gut. Like, you know, you liked Wolverine because he was, you know, he kicked ass. Uh, you know, he, he, he was the man, uh, um, but, but now he's not kicking any ass and he's not the man, he, you know, he's, he's not the man. He's an old man, uh, who's totally lost his mojo. Um, and, uh, and so, you know, the character had an, had an arc to use that annoying, uh, term, uh, where he does, he, he, he does, uh, uh, gain a purpose for living and, you know, um, so it's not totally hopeless, uh, the way that the, the movie goes. Nevertheless, when we, when I don't think we're ever, um, really, you know, we're, st we're still left with the impression of, of Wolverine, uh, or, or Logan as this, this, um, decrepit, uh, uh, broken, uh, embittered, uh, uh, old guy, old drunk. So that was the first, uh, instance of this. Now I, I might, there, there might be, um, uh, actually I'm going to say the, f the first instance of, uh, of what I'm talking about might actually precede Logan now that I'm thinking about it. And that's in, uh, the, the first of the Disney star Wars movies, the force awakens. Now, this isn't exactly the same, uh, 
I'm talking about the way that Han Solo is presented in that movie. It's not exactly the same because Han Solo is not uh, not old and decrepit and 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 worn out and and embittered. But the he's he's just basically uh, he hasn't progressed at all from the way he was. He hasn't evolved. Uh, he hasn't uh, matured. He hasn't become, you know, what he what you would think he would be at this stage of his life, given what we know about the end of the Star Wars trilogy when it's clear that he and Princess Leia are, are headed for romance and, and possibly marriage. Um, you know, and I think the, 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 uh, the books of the expanded, uh, universe of, of Star Wars, the EU and some of the comic books, you know, which talked about what happened after Return of the Jedi and which when Disney took over, they said it's all non-canon uh, and they, they renamed it Legends um, because they wanted to make their own shitty uh, timeline to, to replace it. To, uh, but in the expanded universe, Han Solo, as I understand it, Han Solo married Princess Leia. They had they had kids together, and you know, Han Solo wasn't just this uh, you know this mercenary uh, you know f- fly by the seat of seat of his pants. Uh, you know, uh, kind of guy, uh, you know, anymore. He, he, he became, you know, a part of the, the rebel Alliance and, and, and how and now they were, uh, they defeated the empire, you know, and princess Leia was high in the echelon of this new, uh, established order that took, that took over after overthrowing the tyranny of the empire. Um, Han Solo was, uh, like, be, like became this, uh, this, uh, captain of the of the uh, the space force or, or something, you know, he he became this important figure within the 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 established uh, you know authority that took over uh, post empire, and so you know he still you know he, he still had certain qualities that that were Han Solo, but that was Han Solo ish as we knew knew him in the original trilogy, but he. He changed. He matured. He grew, so he wasn't just the same old guy. Um, and there was something really demoralizing in in um, the Force Awakens to see him just just still doing exactly what he was doing, uh, you know, <laughs> but thirty years later or whatever, uh, um, still still flying around the galaxy, still, still flying by the seat of his pants, still getting into trouble with, uh, you know, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, having a price on his head and all the other, all the kind of drama that was a part of his character in the original trilogy. Um, still hanging out with Chewbacca, uh, you know, not, not that he and Chewbacca would, they would I mean, they were fast friends. They would have always stayed friends, but, but just in the same exact circumstances before, Arrested development, right? Arrested development. He's he's in his sixties now, uh, or maybe maybe even a little older than that. Maybe in getting into his seventies, um, and he's still the same, the same old uh, uh, guy that he was in his thirties. He, you know, it, it was it was it was ridiculous to do that to him and, and to to Princess Leia to make them. Uh, uh, t- to make it so that their uh, their romance never uh, never panned out, um, and they they uh, uh, they weren't in fact you know uh, uh, made for one another like we were led to believe through the original trilogy. Um, so there was something you know uh, th- there was something like intended I think to be demoralizing about that intended to be. A punch in the gut about that, and of course they they kill him off. They you know very egregiously in that movie, um, not in a way where he you know that that gives him any kind of uh, redemption or or whatever. Uh, it, he he just he just stabbed in the back by his son literally, um, and he falls into a pit, and that, and that's it, and that's the end of Han Solo. Um. So yeah, so maybe that that was the first the first uh, real instance of, you know, 
the the hero that you uh, that you grew up with is now uh, you know uh, just a uh, just an old man who never got anywhere in life and you know winds up uh, being being uh, uh, being murdered by his own son you know in in very egregious uh, ugly circumstances that that was a, that was a kind of smearing your face and shit kind of kind of a moment i believe that was a, that was an instance of demoralization <clears throat> but not nearly so much as uh, we saw with luke skywalker in the last jedi that was something that was an instance uh, an, another instance of uh, what i'm the, the 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 main thing i'm talking about here which is you're an old man. Uh, look, your your hero, uh, the guy who saved the galaxy, uh, the guy who redeemed his evil father, Darth Vader, because he believed in him. The guy who would never uh, bail on his friends. Um, you know, the guy with a heart of gold. Um, just, just uh, everything that you loved uh, about Luke Skywalker. Everything that I loved about Luke Skywalker. Um, you know, he was my boy. He was my man uh, when I when I was uh, watching those movies as a kid. And now he's a bitter old man. He's he's and he's living on this planet all by himself. You know, uh, and he's just going around saying, eh, "The Force is stupid. Jedi are stupid. I don't want anything to do with anybody. Let me drink milk from this this strange creature's breast. Uh, this green, <laughs> you know." and smear it all over my beard and and like just what the hell what are you doing well it is it's obvious what they're doing you know and um the you know uh, ray hands him the lights his lightsaber uh and and he takes it and throws it over his over his shoulder and walks away because that's what he is now he's just this bitter old man um and it's time for the Jedi to end, and and uh, everything's stupid, and everything's, you know, uh, he he doesn't want to help anybody. He doesn't he doesn't uh, care about. He doesn't really have friends anymore. Um, he's just just bitter and isolated from from everybody else in the, you know, that everybody that he was connected with before. Um, uh, and and what's more, we find out that he 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 was he almost. Uh, murdered one of his own uh, students, uh, one of his one of his young Padawans, because he sensed the evil in him. You know, so his his nephew. Uh, so he he uh, was going to kill him while he was asleep. What the hell? Luke Skywalker would not do that. He would not feel tempted to do that. He would not. It would never occur to him to do those kinds of things. And Mark Hamill himself, the actor said, uh, you know, look, uh, uh, this, this isn't Luke Skywalker to me. Uh, this may be some other, this is Jake. This is Jake Skywalker. You know, somebody, you know, maybe uh, distantly related to Luke, but this isn't Luke. This isn't Luke as I knew him. Um, and that, that was another punch in the gut. Of course, the entire, I mean, all of the last Jedi practically was an effort to uh, to sneer at you and tell you your heroes are stupid and and uh, and um, you know it, it was it was an evil movie. <laughs> I'm not I'm not uh, holding back at all here. It was it was a malicious malicious movie done with malicious intent, and it's also a bad movie. Um, but uh, but especially what was especially wrong about it was the way that Luke Skywalker was treated, you know, the hero of of the ages, the the the, um, the someone that 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 I was attached to, and so many other you know younger people were attached to because we could relate to him because you know he was he had problems, but he was a good guy, you know, and he and he, he struggled through. Uh, and, and he, 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 he always believed in, uh, you know, e even when he got frustrated, he, he, he still, he still persevered. Um, and now he's the very opposite of that. Uh, he's just this, 
this crabby old, uh, you know, son of a bitch. Uh, it's, it, it was, that was, that was a most egregious instance of what I'm talking about. So then they did the exact same thing. Disney did the exact same thing. Disney Lucasfilm did the exact same thing to Obi-Wan Kenobi when they had, uh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, uh, show that, that broadcast, I think in 2020 or 2021, um, they, uh, they, they made it so that he, he was, uh, they portrayed him as somebody who had lost, like, like at, during the prequels, he, he was this vital, uh, as played by Ewan McGregor, who's probably the best, uh, you know, the best thing about the prequels, um, uh, his portrayal of, uh, of Obi-Wan. Uh, you know, he was, he was this, this, uh, again, this vital, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, powerful, uh, smart, uh, you know, resourceful kind of, kind of person. Um, uh, and you know, he suffered this terrible tragedy with, uh, with, uh, his, the, 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 the young man he was mentoring, Anakin Skywalker, when he turned evil. But then he, he, he took care of business with Anakin Skywalker after, uh, after he was, after he became Darth Vader, he, he took him down. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, he, he, so he did what he had to do, even though it hurt him to have to do it. But then, but now, uh, in this, in this mini series, um, they do the same thing to Obi-Wan that they did to Luke. They make him into an old, he's not even that old. He's, he was like, you know, 50, 51 and you and McGregor looks great, uh, at his age. He looks, he's about my age. He looks much better than me. Needless to say. Um, but, but, but he, but he, they, they, you know, he's like, oh, he's an old man now and he's bitter and he's angry and, and he's, he doesn't want to, uh, participate in, in, uh, you know, the, in the force and all that stuff. He's just, he, he, he's just, um, you know, totally lost his way. So again, your hero, not only was he great, not only was he the man in the, in the prequels, uh, but you know, uh, um, the, the, the portrayal of Obi-Wan in the original trilogy, when he was an old man, as portrayed by Alec, Sir Alec Guinness, he wasn't a broken old man. Um, he, he clearly, and, and he wasn't even weak. He, you know, he, he could still hold his own. You know, he, he was, uh, um, uh, he was a form, formidable character and he only died because he sacrificed himself, uh, again, uh, in, in the scene in Star Wars, also known as a new hope, but now they're, they're portraying him years before that, uh, years before he was that character as, as just this, this cranky, bitter, um, you know, uh, kind of guy, this, this, this character who's, who's totally lost his way and doesn't believe in anything anymore. And yeah, again, his arc is that he learns, uh, to care again, uh, after meeting the, the adorable, precocious, uh, 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 Princess Leia as a, as a little girl. Um, but, but still the impression that it leaves with is definitely gives, definitely is a bad taste in your mouth. And it's definitely demoralizing if you care about this character, if you see him as somebody, you know, like this is, this is a great man. This is, this is a great character. This is somebody that, um, you know, I thrilled to watch. Uh, and now look what they've done to him. Look what he's been reduced to. Or again, I'm not into cape shit, but listen, but, um, but think of what they did to Thor. I don't even know which movie it was. Um, I, I haven't seen most of them, but I've seen a couple of them. Um, and, uh, there, there is one where, uh, where Thor, you know, who, who was like, you know, this big, strong macho, kind of character um i think it was uh it, it might have been um i can't think of the title right now but people might know what I, people will know what i'm talking about when i when i talk about it we meet thor and he's suddenly just this he, he's gotten all fat uh and he's he's just uh he just wants to sit around and play video games all day 
because some, something has broken him, something has, has broken his spirit. Um, he's not old like the other characters that I've, that I've been talking about, or, or like, you know, he's not portrayed as old or uh, uh, said to be old. Um, but we just see him, like, essentially emasculated. And it's supposed to, it's presented in a, in a comedic way, but it's really not, it really wasn't funny. And I don't, again, I don't really even care about these characters. I, I'm, I'm not into these movies, but I saw what they were doing with this. I saw, it was like, oh, here's a, a strong white man, you know, with blonde hair, very, <laughs> very Aryan looking, uh, you know, perfect, uh, you know, uh, uh, hunky, uh, blonde-haired, blue-eyed uh, guy, muscular guy, and now he, he's he's just uh, you know he's fat and and he doesn't want and and he doesn't want to do anything anymore. He just wants to sit around. And uh, again, it, it's like that. That was that. It's just a it's just a really egregious kind of. Uh, it's like spitting in your face. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, I've described, I described it before as a punch to the gut. It's all of those things. It's, it's just, there's, there's something, uh, there's, there's some sheer malice of intent, I believe, when we see these, these characters, when we see them doing these kinds of things to these characters. And now recently I hear with this, uh, series on Disney plus called Secret Invasion, which I haven't seen. I don't, I don't care, I don't care to see but it's my understanding what from what i've heard that nick fury uh you know who's played by samuel l jackson um is they they do the same thing to him now he's old embittered and embittered and uh uh can't you know he he just can't get anything done he's he's uh he he's become just the same old uh uh angry old man loser uh kind of archetypal uh, ar archetype of, uh, demoralization, um, that, you know, that, that I'm talking about, that I'm describing with all of these other characters. Nick Fury, Samuel L. Jackson, as you know, is black. All the rest of these characters are white, of course, white men. I don't think that's coincidental either, but this is just to say it's not just white men that they're targeting. It's men in general that they're targeting. And beyond, <clears throat> beyond them targeting men, I think that it's just, it's just sh just trying to show your heroes in a way that is that is embarrassing that is that is that is really unflatter it's like uh, you know it, it it's like um seeing these seeing uh seeing somebody uh, who you knew uh to be strong and and healthful and and youthful you know whatever age he was you know he had this vitality about him. And now he's like incontinent, you know, uh, he, 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 uh, pees on himself. You know, he has to wear adult diapers or something like that. I mean, it's the equivalent of that and just, just forcing your face in into it. It's, it's so malicious. It's so evil. It's so terrible that they are doing this. And, uh, I think it needs to be called out. So finally, that you know, uh, this leads to uh, what uh, is the the character that began uh, this entire video, and that's um, the famous Indiana Jones. You know, the other besides Han Solo, this is the other uh, character, and Deckard from Blade Runner, of course. Uh, this is this is yet another um, you know sort of a archety archetypal character, archetypal hero. Uh, from from the the eighties movies, you know that that was portrayed by Harrison Ford as just this this strong, manly, macho kind of guy. You know, he had feet of clay. He had certain things like that humanized him, like his fear of snakes, and he could be you know funny and and you know, there was a, there was a comedic aspect to him. Uh, but 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 he was generally speaking, you know, he he was the man. He was somebody who could get it done. Um, you know. He was somebody you, you rooted for and, uh, and that you, you know, saw that in spite of his faults, he, he, was, uh, he, he was on top of his game. He, 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 he had it going on. 
you know, and even in the the, the much maligned uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, he's still that way. You know, now this was years filmed years later. Now he's in his mid sixties, but he's still, you know, the same old Indiana Jones uh, that he was in those movies before. He's still got all of these uh, these qualities that made him, you know, a recognizable hero. And it seems that in this uh, this movie, what they're going to show is yet again your hero. He's a broken old man, right? He's, uh, from what I understand, uh, you know, uh, they, they've unceremoniously killed Mutt off, his son that, that we were introduced to in Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Mutt died in Vietnam, uh, and then he became a drunkard, and then uh, Marion left him, uh, and now he's just this this drunken old souse, uh, you know, that... that, that uh, is still teaching archaeology, but nobody, nobody wants him around anymore. It's not like you know the other movies where all the girls are sigh in, the, in his class are sighing at him and and uh, you know have crushes on him. Now he's just this 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 old this 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 old grandpa on you know this eighty year old um, uh, guy who's just 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 lost everything and and embittered and and uh, mad at the world and there's nothing nothing for him. Um, and that's going to be the impression, the, the impression that is left upon us from, you know, from what I understand. And that's why, even though I'm going to see this movie, I think I'm going to pay to see something else because I don't want Lucasfilm or Disney to get my dollars. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a silly gesture, but, but it's something I, I'm probably going to do if I can get away with it. Um, now, I'll come back and say Mia culpa if I'm wrong after I see the movie, but uh, it's, it's my impression from everything I'm hearing about this movie and everything that, that's, that's being said about this movie. Um, um, and it's, it's going to crash and burn uh, because everything that, that Disney touches for the last few years, with only a few exceptions, is, is turning to shit. Uh, because people don't want to be demoralized and people don't want to be lectured to. Um, they want escapism. They want entertainment. That's what they want. They want to see their heroes do heroic things. Um, so there you go. Uh, um, and I've probably, I've, I've mentioned, you know, I think five or six, uh, uh, examples of this. <clears throat> there are probably more that I'm just not thinking of. Uh, and if you have something to add, uh, please, uh, please leave it below. But this, this whole trend, uh, is of, um, you know, your hero, the, the person that you grew up thinking it was your hero. Now he's, now he's nothing. Now he's, you know, uh, uh, he can't get anything done. He's just, he's just impotent and he's, he's, uh, frustrated and, and, uh, you know, he's lost all hope and, you know, the, the message there is if, hell, if, if Luke Skywalker and Han Solo and, uh, you know, Nick Fury and, and, um, uh, Wolverine, uh, and Indiana Jones, um, if they, if they can't hack it, you think you can? <laughs> if these larger than life heroes, uh, if they're just going to become these, these bitter, hopeless, uh, uh, you know, um, mere, uh, mere shadows of what they had been in their glory years. If, if that's going to happen to them, you think you're going to, you think it's, you're going to, you think you have a chance. You think anybody has a chance? No, no silly man. You, you must lose hope because, uh, we command it. That's what they want from us. I'm, I'm convinced. So those are my thoughts. Tell me what you think below. Thanks for watching.